Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Symbio with T3 Gaming, and uh, we have Kai here today for a commentary on a Star Wars Destiny game. I'm back. Uh, yeah. You made me sad about chewing my gum. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, you didn't. No, I Nobody just... wants to hear you chew gum. I just left. Yeah. Uh, but we're back, and we're doing a Star Wars Destiny commentary today on a game that was played over at Chico Magic in Chico, California, between Jared on the left and Nathan Letario on the right. And uh, Jared is playing the FN Django deck, and we figured we should get this out before FN gets totally nerfed. Um, it's a very cool deck, a very, you know, obviously FN is insanely good, putting upgrades on him, being able to roll them all out. Yeah. And then, you know, Django, uh, he's fast as well, and, you know, a lot of the range damage upgrades kind of go well with him, allows you to play the yellow cards. So, uh, what do we got over there on the right, Nathan's playing? Nate has finally got his, uh, Thrawn Uncar deck, Thrawn Car, finally built, um, that Kylo uh, ideas out of there, and now he's got the fully made um, milling buyout 14 resource and deck. He, and he does play, I think he plays prize possession, detention center, um, just like all those crime cards. lord. But you know, he did say, Warren, you know, he hasn't played this a whole lot yet, so yeah. you know, be nice to him. <laughs> you know? But I mean, he's playing Thrawn on Kong, right? On. Right, right, right. Like, so, how nice can you be to nice that combo? Be, right? Uh, so they mulliganed. Here, uh, and they're going for the initiative. I didn't really peek in what's with their hand. Uh, so it looks so like, yeah, Nathan Nate, got five. So Nate wins. And uh, he got, Jared got four. So Nate's picking. Nate, I mean, obviously, I'm hoping he's picking. <laughs> uh, so Medical Center. FN uh, Django's playing the Rebel War Room, and, and Nathan's playing Medical Center. Yeah. Interesting. So he oh so he could just heal, and he doesn't really need the battlefield because he's yeah. kind of slow anyway. Yeah. <coughs> so. So. I haven't actually played against a full Thrawn card deck yet. So, so he chooses his. So. I've played Jared against Thrawn, shields. and I played against Unkar. So Jared takes the shields so it makes sense i guess because he's gonna although he should take the shields for himself right yeah but i don't know but so, the shields don't really help yeah. jared because he's either gonna mill him or crime lord him right jared no nathan is gonna oh, right. <laughs> jared's definitely not milling all right <coughs> so looks like so they're gonna get started here pretty soon looks like he's got an electroshock a vibro knife on the left Looks like he only has two upgrades. Nate, He's got a doubt. Faint. He's gonna roll out um, with faint. He's gonna use Theron's ability. Did he pick already? He, yeah, he picked, he two. picked two. Right. And then he's just gonna roll out whatever he gets. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you're gonna keep not keep <laughs> that, and then now it's his turn. So that's really good uh, to be able to get you know weapons out of uh, FN's hands, so he can't you know. Yeah. Throw them at you super fast. So Django activates and rolls a one melee and a plus one resource. Not not great. Uh, yeah, I guess he activated in response to um, Thrawn. Thrawn activating, yes, right? He did. So actually, Jared does have another turn. You know, Django doesn't get played that much anymore. Um, this deck's pretty cool, actually. I mean, I played F against Jared and it was no one really wants to see easy. FN. He gets a backup muscle. That's true. <laughs> Plays a backup muscle. Uh, good to get that card out early if you're going to play it. Yeah. <coughs> so, Nate rolls out uh, Uncar. And that's smart. You really yeah. want to... Roll out Uncar first. Roll him out to, to get those cards out of uh, F, you know the FN player's hands. How did he get them out? Well, by plotting. Oh, I, right. I, I just yeah, mean... Yeah, he got two discard and a focus. You know, whatever you can do to get those upgrades out before he, he puts them on FN is good. I mean, he only has one resource now, so... He doubts it to disrupt. Why did he remove it? No, I don't <laughs> think he knew. What doubt does. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here we go. He rolls it, and then he has to do it. So, yeah, he plays the doubt. Just remember, if you're the person that plays the doubt, you know, that was your action. So Nathan goes ahead and picks one. Yep. Gets, and rolls the, out gets rid of the electroshock. So it's already four cards out, huh? 
I mean, he did play one, but two. So he rolls out Thrawn and gets the one disrupt and the two shields. Uh, Jared activates FN because he has no upgrades on him, gets two resources. So he, that's going to help for the next round for sure because there's not a lot he can Thrawn do now. Disrupts. So Jared goes ahead and uh, resolves three resources. Um, <coughs> and then Nate gains four resources too. Wow. And then uh, Jared goes, oh, he, that his last card was the rocket, uh, the Z6 Riot Baton. He rolls it in and resolves, looks like, two damage. On two. I think he's going after Thrawn. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think in the in this matchup, you go for Ankar. Um, because, Un I mean, I don't know. I've, I mean, I've heard, I've heard that you go for Ankar. Maybe it's because of the... Uh, um, that he can kind of generate more money in general. So he yeah. go, plays, plays the Crime Lord. Yeah, so the Crime Lord's out. And he does... Uh, he does the one melee from uh, Django. So we've got three on Thrawn already. That wasn't a one melee? It was. Oh. oh or is it a backup muscle? He, so, so he hasn't done the backup muscle yet. Yeah. No, he hasn't. So it looks like he's going to claim. And heal. Nate's going to claim and heal. But once he has um, Claimed. the Z6 out, it means he can pretty much override it with any number of weapons. You know? Yeah. I think Nathan is wondering if he has to do the claim ability. And just anybody else who's watching, claim ability is always optional. So you can claim and not do the ability if you don't want to. But... Um, I think he's also making sure, can he still do some of it? And that's the interesting thing about Destiny, is that anytime a card says and, you get to choose whether you want to do either one. Like, you technically don't have to do any of them. Um, it's not like a requirement. Uh, things like spot are a requirement, that kind of thing. Um, but, you, like, with Electroshock, you can remove your own die. Yeah, technically. Like, if somebody plays Coercion, they can force you to remove your own die. Uh, it's kind of crazy and something you kind of have to get used to in card games. Um, you know, like that card partnership, it says, you know, you can roll out and activate your character and activate a support. You don't have to have a support to use that card if you just want to use it to activate. You figured it out? Yeah. So. But, but the then ability afterwards, you do have to have resolved both of those in order to do it. So, so they reset. He did do a backup muscle, right? And yeah. It looks like he didn't heal. No. He just w he wanted to have the battlefield. Huh. To go first, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So we got four damage on Thrawn. Um, Jared's definitely had five cards milled so far. Pulls out Thrawn and picks uh, two again. Oh wow. So he's got quite a lot of upgrades in there. He's got the LL30. Night Sniper. The Night Sniper, the Magna, uh, Electro Staff. He so. gets rid of the Night Sniper. Yeah, probably a good idea. Gets rid of the ambush. Rolls out Thrawn. Gets blank and two resources. <clears throat> Jared's turn. He's going to, looks like he's going to go ahead and pay to put a... Uh, Electro staff is it? Yeah. Yeah. On FN to roll it out. I don't know if he's Electro gonna roll staff, it out. Isn't it all modified size? Yeah. I guess he's gonna roll it out just so, for. Yeah. Once oh, maybe he to. Out. Oh, to get the uh, Z6, some modifiers. Yeah. So, he pays one to electro shock to two. Why would he do that? Now Jared gets it again. Yeah, that was that probably was, a bad idea. That was a terrible play. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? That was useless. I don't think Nate's played against the FN very often before. So he rolls out. He's a three for one melee. Another melee damage on the FN die. A shield and a plus one? Plus two? It's hard for us plus to three? see that one. Because it's a little dark. Oh, no, that's only plus two. Yeah. It might be either, I think, I think it's a plus one. It might be a plus so three. So three, four, five. It could be a two. It could be six damage. Um, you know. 
we'll Thrawn see. could be dead fairly quickly here. Rolls out um, on car, gets the uh, <laughs> Crime Lord, Lord special. He doubts the Crime Lord special, of course. He doesn't have the money to pay for the Crime he Lord He has to yet, disrupt, right? but he can't, oh, so he has Thrawn to remove has it. Oh, right yeah. there. He doubts it, so he has to remove it. Well, yeah. I think you can you actually do it, but it doesn't matter. He has no money, right? Yeah, so he just removes it. Um, can you keep that in your... No, never mind. You can't. You have to resolve it. So he's got uh, another Crime Lord in his hand, which at this point isn't useful. He needs money to be able to... Yeah, Doubt, Doubt really did a good Spence, job there. Spends two for Hound's Tooth. Hound's. It's a good way to make money. So if Thrawn dies, he can still make money there. He plays... Um, Looks like he's playing an Imperial War Machine, which means he can resolve uh, damage without without paying its cost. So he's paying. So he just does three damage straight up to Thrawn. Yep. Thrawn's at seven now. Super close to dead, or not super close, but close. And it looks like there's two damage, three damage, four damage showing on the board because Django rolled double sticks, which I forgot to mention. Sorry. Yes. A little, a little slow on the commentary. Focuses too, though. Two resources on Thrawn. He does. Looks like he four. does four more. Yep. Which puts him at uh, 11. 11. He gains four resources with Thrawn. So Thrawn's at 11 health. One more will kill him. Backup muscle. Backup muscle's gonna do it. Overwrite. He goes ahead and overwrites the LL30. And he's gonna get to roll this in too. Gets the one. Does it? No, gets, yeah, he yeah, gets the gets one. The one. He kills Thrawn. Well, he does have backup muscles. Why isn't he killing Thrawn? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why he didn't resolve why it. Why isn't he? That's so weird. Did why he isn't he killing the Thrawn? I think he forgot to, to, that he could ability. resolve it immediately. Yeah. yeah. I just, yeah, it's just really. All right, so Hound's Tooth is really cool. Um, it's got this side. What was it? Four, four resources re for a cost. For two costs. Oh, for two costs. So it's like an investment. Gaining two resources. Yeah, it's a great uh, two cost support that allows you to just make money. This is Bosk's ship, right? Yep. He spends two to gain four. So. So he'll have total six. Yeah. Going into the next round, he'll have eight. And he has seven. Yeah, I mean, what's interesting is that, you know, from the point of view of the game, it looks like, okay, Thrawn's already dead. You know, FN's obviously very aggressive. And Jared's probably got this game in the bag. But, you know, buyout. at this point, there is buyout. But also, Nathan can claim. Spends four for another crime lord. So he has five next round, which he can just kill FN if he wanted to. Right. And now he, can, he, he could disrupt. even potentially, you know, if he has the money, double crime lord if he makes the money. Um, he spends three resources whoa, for a black blackmail. Mail. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. No, he shouldn't have. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to put crime lord down and then not be able to have the money to resolve it. So that's that was a, that was a misplay, I think. Big misplay. Yeah. So Nate's he, been misplaying <laughs> here. Well, he's practicing the deck, so he's learning Nate's how it works. He's got faint, um, prize possession, he doesn't like you, one quarter portion, and, uh, rend. So at least he has some mitigation, but he has to roll out to do it. Jared's got a lot of weapons. I see all upgrades in his hand, pretty much. He's got a holdout blaster, another rocket launcher, night sniper, a, a Z6. Oh, no, that's a vibro knife, sorry. Yeah, and Z6. So here we go. Here's going to be the onslaught of FN. He's going to roll out. With the uh, Z6, overriding the LL30, paying one. Uh, and he's got one resource to resolve. So the Z6 gets a two melee. So FN's on almost... cars at three. Yeah. FN's Django's going to activate in response. And gets the Jeez, Django's two rolling hella damage this game, man. He, get, he gets the two, two. two ranged. And, uh... He rolls, Uncar rolls out, gets the two melee, the plus two melee special, the yeah, three discard. Yeah, see, he could have crime lorded if he had his money. Uh, he also spent, he, he could have spent one resource to remove the three discard if he wanted to, Jared, but he didn't because of the blackmail's card. Spend one resource to remove its die. 
Oh, blackmail? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So he rolls out with FN, gets two melee, a shield, a melee, and a blank. Um, interesting why he didn't just keep overriding. I guess he can do it now, so maybe he's just trying to apply the pressure to yeah. kill out, kill Unkar faster. Unkar <coughs> is going to be taking five damage, almost close to dead. He doesn't, he, he doesn't like you to remove the blank on Unkar to remove... The two on Z6. What's so good about FN and kind of just, you know, borderline broken is even after he's activated and you've used up his weapon, you can still use his ability and write more weapons on him and just keep rolling out dice. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. It looks crazy, like he, crazy. Uh, he got some resources, right, Nathan? Over, but now he's going to do that. He's going to overwrite the Z6 for the rocket launcher. He still has one resource there. He can pay for any of those sides. He looks like he four. rolls the four, and Puts he a nine. goes ahead and resolves it and kills, yeah, Ankar, right? Uh, it doesn't kill him, but... Three, four, oh, five, yeah, six, yeah, it kills ten. him. Yeah, he's dead. That's yep, four. so it's GG there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that was an example of he... If he had kept the money, um, Jared had no mitigation. He would have crime-lorded FN, and he would have a naked Django. Yeah. Um, you know, and Django, you know, you got to play fair with Django, so... Uh, that was it. They're actually going to play another game, so we're going to commentary on the other game. All right, so this is uh, game number two uh, between Ankar and Thrawn on the right here with Nathan Letario and then uh, Jared, of course, on the left, left. Yes. And then I got Gumchuber over here on the right here commentating. And we've got Trash over here. Don't copy Jay and... And uh, Sir Christopher. But you are trash. I'm just joking. All right. So, so they're rolling for initiative here. We got, uh, looks like. Uncar. Thrawn Uncar got. Thrawn, yeah. Thrawn, uh, Nathan got like yeah. eight or something. Yeah, something crazy, right? Yeah, he seems to be able to get the initiative pretty well with those guys. He puts two shields on Thrawn. So Smart. he's learned. <laughs> And so FN uh, Django is dropping a vibro knife from the uh, beginning and uh, using his two resources, he gets a one resource and he goes ahead and resolves that. He uses the ambush to go ahead and activate <laughs> FN. I take it he doesn't have any more upgrades to play. Wow. That's pretty good. He's got two, two for a cost, a melee. So that's three melee showing. Yeah, so uh, Nate pl puts down, puts down um, Imperial Discipline. Imperial inspection. Oh right. Right. So that he can get rid of that vibro knife when he rolls out. Oh, he does have a rocket launcher on him. Pays one resource, right? Pays one to do three damage, unblockable to Thrawn. Well, Nate rolls out Unkar and also rolls out Django, of course, because Django's ability. Nate forgets to gain his resources. He gets a two, a plus two resource and a focus, so he can't knock. Imperial Inspection. Yeah, it doesn't knife. get to Imperial the Vibro Knife. Uh, so, Django activated and got a two range damage and a blank. He goes ahead and resolved that. He's rolling so well, Django. I don't remember Django ever being able to get that much damage out all the time. Django but. also got also got the blank, so. Yeah. It's not good. So roll. he took those shields off. Yes, he did. Good thing he had some shields. Looks like Nate's got a rend in his hand, which is useless. Yeah. Does he have a feint? I think so. He rolls out Thrawn and tries to discard something. So he picked he a picked three, three, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's a gutsy call, but that disrupt. paid off. He gets the disrupt and the blank on Thrall, but then he does get the, the Goes disrupt. Goes back to his hand. Yep. Imperial inspections it. And I don't know if Jared's played against that very often before. So it is very good against FN because if he spent the money, then he's not going to be able to do it again. Looks like he's going to discard backup muscle to re-roll his two... Oh, the one Django die. And look at that. Gets, <laughs> Gets the, the two. two ranged again. He doesn't like you with Nate to remove the uh, two. So FN's already done pretty much here. Yeah, so he focuses to the two dis or uh, the two resources. He 
He could plot, so, or he could... I think he could. If he looked at the hand, does he remember what was in it? There was another, what was it, a Z6 in there? No, it was Captain Phasma's. Oh, Blaster. He's going to plot. He's going to plot. Well, he knows he's going to at least get two, because there's a yeah. Vibro knife in there, probably. So at least he'll get some resources. He's actually getting more resources with doing this, so I don't know what he's doing, but... I guess he discards reroll. I think he just wants to get rid of some weapons out of his hand, so. Yeah, that's kind of a tough choice. I mean, it depends on what you're going to do with your money if you have a crime lord come in. So he's yeah. got he's so got six so resources. Yes, he does. It is. He does play prize possession, and um, I think he plays detention center. Oh, it looks like he hat. What is that in his hand? He's got a feint. Another he imperial inspection. In one quarter portion, I think. It looks like Jared has a Doubt, an LL30, an Electroshock. Captain then, Phasma's. Yeah, Captain Phasma's Blaster, and then the Vibro again. So he pays to put the Vibro out and does one melee against Thrawn. Thrawn's already at and Uses four. the Ambush to uh, activate FN. And <laughs> he's rolling so well on those FN dice, which are usually terrible. It's uh, four damage showing for cost. Pays one or spends two to play Hound's Tooth, which is really good. So, um, yeah. You think Hound's Tooth is good? Yeah, I do. For two cost support, uh, it's a really good way of generating money. What else does it have on there? Some shields, maybe? No, yeah, no. some shields. So Django activates, uh, I guess, on his own. Yep, he does. One ranged and a uh, plus one resource. Rolls out. Um, <laughs> just says, why? <coughs> why did he roll the blank with the hands, too? I don't know. We can't answer that question for you, Nate. Looks like he's discarding. Jared's discarding the electroshock to re-roll here. To try and get the resource. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's basically just, um, you know, yeah, get as much damage as you can. Nope. <laughs> Wow. And Django rolls both ranged damages, a two uh, ranged and a one ranged. That's a lot of damage. Three, four, five, six, seven. But he does not have the resource. He doesn't have the resource. No, he doesn't have the resource right now. Does he have Imperial War Machine? I don't think so. So, I mean, Nathan should roll out and try to bounce the Vibro at least. Yeah. Um, oh, so, so Django, wait, why did he already take the damage? Um, because he put down imperial, another Imperial Inspection, which I forgot to say. Okay. But now he's rolling out on car. I don't know if that was really worth it, but I guess he didn't have any it's other It's a resource and a plus do. two resource. Because he only has one weapon on. Yeah. So you can only do so much. He goes ahead, uh, Jared resolves the two melee, and now that puts Thrawn at nine. Still has three health left. Rolls out Thrawn. Picks, what do you pick? I couldn't hear. I think, yeah, he picked two, I guess. Yeah. We're just guessing by what he discards. Um, yes, he's rolling out um, our I feel like Nathan's deck doesn't have enough mitigation that I would expect in a deck like that, you know? So he's discarding faint? No, he's playing faint. Oh, okay. I, yeah. He wanted to play faint. Oh, so he, he could do it again, yeah. yeah. It's just for character's ability, faint is, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great for uh, being able to use abilities over and over again on characters. And it's slightly good for being able to, like, hope that you get the right roll. So he goes in and resolves the last uh, two damage against uh, Thrawn, putting him at, I think, at 11, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's almost dead. <clears throat> How did he get that resource? Did Jared not know that he had a resource? Did needed resource? Oh yeah, he did need a resource. I don't know if he didn't see that. Uh, I think it, actually, oh, he's playing Rebel War Room, so basically Jared claimed in order to reduce the cost of the uh, damage, uh, so he could still resolve the two melee damage. Uh, on to Thrawn. Sorry, we missed that. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you're doing commentary, you miss things here and there. We're trying to do our best. Sorry about that, guys. 
So Did Nathan got the hound's tooth for uh, resource there. So he's got serious resources coming, but really doesn't have a win condition in sight here. I mean, what is he? Is he planning on milling at this point still, you think? I think so. I mean, he's got a lot of resources. I mean, he can plot him. He's going to plot. Which is the probably the best thing to do. Yeah. To gain three, which is nice. Wait, what is he removing, though? He removed the four resource for two resources on the. Oh, tooth. right. I see. Yeah, he re removed the hound's tooth. Sorry. Yeah. So he gains three more resources. See, now he has a lot of resources. Yeah, doesn't I mean, he's, he? he's got plenty of resources, so. So, uh, I think Jared claimed. Ah, now he's got the buyout. Okay, buyout. so that was his condition there. So, I'm not sure how much that is. I think it's nine? Ten? Now, is it, this is an interesting thing. He did do, One, yeah, I think, let's see, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine. <laughs> it yeah, is nine. Right. Is it? That's really interesting. Like, when do you do it? Like, you could he could do eleven if you waited till his next turn. But but I then he would have five cards in his hand. So maybe it was smarter to do it while the deck was full. Yeah. It's an interesting way to play. Uh, we have a sneaking suspicion that uh, FFG is going to probably limit the buyout, but who knows? Uh, what do you think? You think they should limit the buyout? No, but I think they should errata FN. Jeez. It's been long enough. Yeah, FN's definitely going to get the errata. you got to find, I mean. Although in this game, Jared didn't really, I mean, he overrode it, I think, twice in the first in the first game. But in this game, he's only done it once. So it's a little more fair. All right, so Jared uh, uh, plays the Electro Staff on FN, and is he going to roll it out? No. I guess he's going to choose not to roll it out because it doesn't really have any sides. solid sides to resolve. So Nate puts down Salvage Stand. Oh, he is going to roll it out. And he gets a blank. I think Jared is flustered off of losing nine cards. <laughs> Wait, why is he activating again? It's not Ambush. Uh. He decided to do that, and then he put down that. And then oh, he okay. Out. What did he put down? Oh, salvage stand. Yeah. Okay. I already said that. Sorry, guys. Not keeping up with the game state here. You aren't. He, uh, Nate plays one quarter portion, removes the one, and then he gets to gain a resource. I don't know if that was a good player. He's or not. got. What does he have? Uh, he's got friends in low places. The uh, night, night sniper. Wish yeah, I had I the night sniper. see what else it is. Yeah, I just purchased two two night snipers. And got them. Looks like he's going to overwrite the vibro knife with the night sniper, which has... Um, ambush. Has ambush, and it has two damage sides. Uh, three for a cost, he gets that, and he does have the one... Resource. So he could just kill Thrawn here. Wait, why didn't he do that? Because he forgot about the ambush. I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, but anytime you roll in FN's die, you can resolve it. I know. So also, the ambush. I think he's just, so I don't yeah. know. I think he's just... Rem free. So and, he, he, and then he removes two. I don't know why he didn't... There we why, go. I don't see why so he didn't So now he do tapped it. the Imperial Inspection when he activated to remove that those two. That was Jared. I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, that's right, because he rolled out the... Ankar rolled out the Disrupt, and then the, he tapped yeah, the Imperial Inspection. Yeah, but he put so. down Night Sniper, Ambush, rolled it out, and then oh. resolved the two and killed. Right, he could have killed him. Yeah, earlier. He probes. Nate probes. Thrawn is dead now. He probes and gets one, one event. One of them, yeah, one event, and then he grabs the Night Sniper. So I guess the... Rolls out Hound's Tooth. Gets, gets that four. Yep, so you can plot again. How many fours are on there? Just one. one? Okay. So now Jared, I mean, he, he he can fairly quickly still get through that Unkar's 10 health, but he's got to last another round. So he goes in and rolls out and gets a one resource and a plus one resource on Django. Looks like Unkar is plotting again. Yep. And he's going to hopefully get, um, he's going to try to get something up. Gets, Gets the, the Night Sniper for two. Makes two resources. Yeah. 
And he gets two more resources so that he can probably roll out FN again here. And not or uh, drop a weapon on him again. Nathan is playing the interrogation droid here, um, trying to get the mill out of hand. An interrogation droid also has the ability when um, the die is in your pool. I think it. Um, like you can just remove it. the die to. Is it, I think it discard an event from an opponent's hand or something like that. Yeah. We'll see if that goes in. I'll have to look that one up. So it's Jared's turn. There's not a whole lot that Jared can do here. Um, I don't know what's in his hand. He's got a. I think he already used. Did he use the friends in low play? I oh, know he got that discarded. So he's gonna go ahead and play the electro staff on FN, which is kind of pointless because you can't resolve that melee and there's nothing else. I'm Nate not sure why he plays out, electro staff. Nate rolls out interrogation droid gets the one sh disrupt. Is that a disrupt or a discard? Dude, I think it's a discard. It's, uh, yeah, uh, I can't really tell. I think it's a discard. So I think he's using the ability and then removing it. I think he picks a yeah, he removes it to look at one card. It says after you activate the support, look at a random card in an opponent's hand. If that card is an event, you may remove this die to discard it. So he removes Imperial War Machine. So he's already milled out his hand. I think he only has like five cards left. He's going to discard Probe to re-roll Uncar's um, die. He, yep, he gets the one Disrupt. And Disrupt's two resources. From Jared, because I think Jared claimed. Wow, so much control going on here. You can see the power of the Unkar Thrawn deck here. Um, I just think he mi is missing some mitigation there to be able to kind of keep that damage from hitting him so early. Uh, so Jared does have quite a few cards left, actually. He's got five in his hand and at least a couple in his deck left. Do you think he can do it? I don't know. It's close. Um Jared does go first. Without Thrawn, uh, it's gonna unless he he doesn't have like blackmail out uh, to be able to mill from the hand. So Jared goes first, drops a rocket launcher for one. So he could hit some big damage here. He rolls a blank. So that really helps, really helps Nathan's game right now. Really helps. It's now it's Nate's turn. Nate rolls out the Hound's Tooth. I kind of feel like this um, Uncar Thrawn probably could play some personal shield to try to you know Gets mitigate range damage. It's the blank again, of course. <laughs> yeah, Jared activates FN for a blank and a shield. So uh, looks like Jared's hot rolls are slowing down a little bit. Yeah. So now it's uh, Nate's turn. He rolls out into. Uh, interrogation droid. Interrogation. Interrogation droid. droid. But he doesn't. <clears throat> Which doesn't is smart. He needs to actually roll out and get cards out of his hand as soon as possible. He's gonna discard a card. And gets rid of um, Bane's switch. Now, why is he discarding immediately? Isn't that an action? Uh, Doesn't happen no. when he rolls out, right? I don't think so. I don't know why he did that all at one time. Oh, it says when you activate the support. Okay, sorry. I thought it was an action, so it just happens on activation. Jingo rolls out, gets a two range and a plus one resource. Nate gains one resource? No, he rolls out Uncar. He was going to spend one resource for something. Rolls out Uncar, gets the plus two, the plus All two. All right, so there's a plot right there he can do. Uh, salvage stand, did you tap it? No, there he goes. He taps salvage Get rid stand. Of that. Very good. So that keeps him from being able to resolve that rocket launcher, which is huge. Um, he just have the bait and switch to hit him for four, Jared. Oh, yeah. Bait and switch. Turns that two to a two. Uh, blank to a two, and Django resolves four damage on Ankar. A very good card. Sneaky, sneaky damage. So what is that? He's discarding a feint to reroll everything? Yep. Discarding faint to reroll. Why didn't he plot him, I guess? Gets a resource, a plus one resource, a two disrupt. So the disrupts don't help Initial. now with uh, Imperial Inspection because he's got a three cost weapon on there. Yeah. So I think a, the plotting him right now is the way to go. 
And Jared's going for it. He's discarding the Vibro Knucklers to get some damage out here. He does get one melee on FN's die and double blinks. So Jared's not rolling very well here, but uh, and he doesn't have very many cards left here. So No, he doesn't, does he? I think... I think getting that shield and then plotting would have been better because it would Probably. have mitigated a little damage unless there's something in his hand that, you know, is going to be a better play that I don't know. Um, but being able to get that last card out of so his So he does gain one, the really one resource. Discard, salvage, stand, reroll again. Gets the four uh, resource for two resources and the two disrupt. Yeah, I wonder again. what he's looking for here on the dice. He's going to plot. Yeah. And he gets a five. Oh my gosh, T7, T7 Ion, Ion <laughs> Disruptor. Wow. That's an interesting play for FN. I mean, I think if you've got enough resources, you could do some major but damage with that. not against Throne Car. <clears throat> so he pays, Nate pays three resources for blackmail. Ah, that was what he was trying to do, probably get the blackmail out. And then what else is he going to do? So, um, it's interesting to see, I think, that, you know, when you have a slow deck, putting your upgrades on later is actually good because it saves you time for the yeah. next round. Especially in Ankar Thrawn, you, Thrawn, you're usually getting all these resources by the end of your round. So, what is he doing? He can't resolve that disrupt. Are they just resetting? Jared claimed. Yeah. All right, so it's uh, reset time. Looks like Nate discards interrogation, interrogation droid. droid. Looks like there's um, how many cards left here? Zero. Well, zero cards in his deck. I think he, I think he only had like three or four cards there, if not less. Uh, he goes and activates FN, so he didn't even bother to put anything on FN, so maybe those aren't weapons. He gets the, he gets two, two melee for a cost, a blank on the rocket launcher, and a one. So he, um, Nathan electroshocks yes. the two for a cost. Sorry. Uh, Jared activates Chango, gets the damage again, the two arranged and a one ranged. Nate spends another resource to electroshock again. No, probe. Then spends one resource to probe. Puts the probe droid out. So he has to survive this round. And then it has ambush, so he's going to roll out. Interesting. That's cool. I didn't notice probe had an roll out ambush. Car. Yeah, it's really cool. I guess that's it for his um, mitigation. He yeah. rolls a uh, two disrupt and a three disrupt from the yeah. blackmail, right? He could spend a resource if he wanted to to remove it, but he doesn't. I don't know even if Jared four? knows you can do that. I don't think so. So he goes ahead and resolves four damage. That's putting Unkar at eight. So he has two health left on Unkar. Um, he can re-roll that rocket launcher and get the damage if, unless there's some way that... Um... Oh, Nate, you should have disrupted him. So he could not resolve that damage. He could have disrupted the two resources. Right well, he's, there. He's going to wait. We'll see. He gets rid of the LL30, so he's got two cards left. Oh, wait. He doesn't. Oh, because it has to be an yeah. event. So he wants to leave that in there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Interrogation droid, at least you get to keep that discard out. I mean, if you have a discard, you might as well use it. Yeah. So it's Jared's turn. He's going to spend one resource, right? What is he doing here? He is, uh, oh, I didn't even see what he played. He played it off backup. the side. Oh, backup muscle. So that is that is a two-round turn. He has to mill him this turn in order to win. He has two cards left. So close. Oh, he keeps hitting. Oh, he okay, so he got rid of that. He's one more card left. Now, Probe is, does the same thing. It has to be an event, right? And it's not an event. Overwrite. He overwrites it for the Vibro. The, no, not the Vibro. A uh, Vibro Knuckler. Yes. He's going to roll it in here. Does he get if it? If he gets two damage. If he gets the one. Right? If he gets the one, then it's GG. No, he it, needs two. He gets oh, he the gets two. the two melee. He had the backup muscle, too. Oh, that's ambush. true. That's true. So that will kill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So that was a really good game, actually. Very close game. 
He had no yeah. hand, uh, no cards left. Uh, again, like going back, I think having that shield might have helped. You know, having a little bit of shields there against FN can be very good, especially because he can resolve only that damage. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to. Uh, um, topdecktcg.com uh, we, we created a little partnership uh, to help promote each other so they sell singles uh, for Star Wars Destiny and they also do a lot of articles and podcasts and updates on the game so definitely check them out topdeckTCG.com, and we will see you next time on, on T3, T3 Gaming, Gaming.